Kelvin Kiptum, we've been talking about him for weeks. People have been looking at him for weeks. He's got two sub 202 marathons, and he looks like he might even go below 201, Ed. Kelvin Kiptum is into the final 400 meters onto the carpet inside the City of Arts and Sciences. What a run it's been for him. You can see the Finnish country in front of him. What and a run, Richard. It's going to be run. a new course record. Remember the course record set here two years ago by compatriot Evans Chibet. Okay. This is where he tells himself, come on, come on. He's t doing all of the self-talk he needs to. And guess what? 800 meters, we just saw that. He can do this, Ed. 800 okay. meters to go. He still has to go a little bit uphill. Is that a factor in this case? You know how that right up toward the finish, Mount Roosevelt, they call it. He's got to go on a little bit of an incline. Does he's got factor? He's got the strength. He can dig down. It's little different muscle fibers, but I think he can attack that. He's going to power the best way that he can. And the, I like his arm carriage. I like his knee lift. He's looking good. The back kick is looking good. He's looking like a track runner here. He's won 58 minutes for the half marathon. He can just finish things up here. What a run, Richard. Absolutely staggering. I think he can hardly believe it himself. Only Kipchoge's world record in Berlin two months ago is faster. And Kiptum, by far the biggest victory in his career. Oh Will he break the world record? It's going to be close. Elliot Kipchoge has oh been the on, GOAT for the last it. 10 years. Th this man is... He's going to do it. It's a two. 14 right now. He's digging down for this. He's worked so hard. Elliot Kipchoge has been the GOAT for the last 10 years. But this is the new young gun, Kelvin Kiptum, finishing. We're going to get ourselves a new world record. He recognizes it. He's waving to the crowd. This is not a normal video. In December of 2022, the world witnessed one of the most impossible feats in running history. A 23-year-old making his marathon debut against many of the world's best, and somehow, he came away with a victory, and he also became the third fastest athlete to ever run the marathon, breaking two hours and two minutes for his marathon debut. Seeing this up-and-coming athlete was truly extraordinary. He ran with so much power, he ran with so much speed, it was like watching effortless poetry in motion as he glided across the streets of Valencia, Spain, all while drifting away from his competition with ease. Looking back at this race, it was but an introduction to the future, because even though 2022 was quite the powerful first impression, 2023 was truly a season to remember. For this 2023 campaign, Kelvin Kiptum from Kenya only ran two times. However, he set the world on fire against the best marathon runners in the world. In London, the stage was set. He was returning as the fastest in the field. He was now up against an even deeper field than Valencia. And against all odds, he repeated an unmatched level of excellence, setting the course record in two hours, one minute, and 25 seconds. And somehow, against all odds, Kelvin Kiptum struck again in his very next race. At the Chicago Marathon in 2023, Kiptum took down a record that many thought simply could not be broken, as he broke Elliot Kipchoge's world record with a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds, a nearly unheard of time that showcased just how talented this once-in-a-generation runner truly was. There are no words that can truly express the loss that this brings to the running community, and for this video, I want to stay away from any discussions about being the greatest ever in the marathon. This loss, quite frankly, goes far beyond just running and performance. And in a very real sense, Kiptum's legacy will forever be cemented in a way that will never be challenged. At 24 years of age, Kelvin Kiptum's passing is obviously a huge tragedy that has struck the hearts of every athletics fan in the world. But being so young, so talented, and so promising for the future. How does the sport even move on? To say that Kiptum's future was bright would be a significant understatement. More so than any other athlete that I have ever witnessed, Kiptum really was just getting started. Most people had him as the favorite moving into the Paris Olympics. Many saw him as the single athlete that could potentially break two hours under legal circumstances on a record-eligible course. Through 2023 and the early stages of 2024, 
Kiptum was highly regarded as the best marathon runner in the world. He really was next to invincible, possessing a running arsenal that quite frankly could not be matched. In reviewing Kiptum's running and his legacy, there is one thing that always seems to surface that truly separates him from his peers, and that is dedication. To find success in this sport, you have to sacrifice a lot. There's socializing, family, holidays, even your own mental health. And while many do this to an extreme, Kiptum's endless and, quite frankly, relentless dedication to his craft takes focus and investment in yourself to a completely new level. For this video, I think it's important to see Kiptum as a prime example of how training, focus, motivation, and sacrifice can in fact get you to the very top of your sport. So let's take a moment to review Kiptum's career and remember just how much this young legend achieved. Now before Kiptum became a household name, he spent many years dreaming of running greatness. From very humble beginnings in Kenya, Kiptum's very early days of running were certainly far from world class. However, in the fall of 2018, an 18-year-old Kiptum saw his very first success winning the Eldoret Half Marathon in 1 hour 2 minutes and 1 second. This race was a big deal, in fact this is the very first race that is currently listed on his World Athletics profile, so this moment is really the race that started it all. And from this moment on, every single year saw crazy improvements. In both the half marathon and the marathon distance, Kiptum's progression can only be categorized as absolutely historic. In 2019, he broke one hour for the half marathon for the very first time, and following that in 2020, he actually broke 59 minutes for the half marathon. And this performance of 58 minutes and 42 seconds actually comes from one of the greatest all-around half marathons that the world has ever seen, as the world record was actually set in this very race by fellow Kenyan athlete Kibiwak Kandie. But the young Kiptum wasn't too far behind, finishing sixth in this race in what many have regarded as the greatest half marathon of all time. It's so interesting to look back on this race because we actually covered this race in pretty great detail, but we never even touched on Kelvin Kiptum. However, in hindsight, it is so crazy to see one of the greatest marathon athletes ever running about one minute behind the finisher, and given what he did here, his future was obviously very bright. Moving into the 2020s, Kiptum's profile only continued to blossom, with more consistency on the big stages, and he ultimately attained more records coming with each performance. And even though these running moments were certainly tremendous, it's what was going on behind the scenes that really changed things for Kelvin Kiptum, because his training was beginning to reach historic levels, more so than almost any athlete that I have ever witnessed in the running circuit. After breaking the world record in 2023, Kiptum's training log became public for the world to see, even against the likes of Kipchoge and any other marathoner in Kenya, Uganda, or Ethiopia, Kiptum's mileage and dedication to the marathon were simply off the charts. Here's one prime example of what a typical training week looked like for Kelvin Kiptum during the heaviest weeks building into a marathon. If you haven't figured it out already just by looking at the first few days, this is pretty crazy training. From his speed work, to his long runs, to his relentless pacing, Kiptum really wasn't afraid to test the absolute limits of his athletic abilities. And even though his coach counseled patience and slightly lower mileage, Kiptum went for it anyways, throwing caution to the wind, and he ultimately reaped the benefits of such intense workouts. Now, I'm not suggesting that you all need to go out and run 200 miles every week. Most of us, in fact, are not built like Kelvin Kiptum but it really is a testament to this man's strength and ultimate will to see how much running he could do behind the scenes. In many separate interviews, Kiptum discussed how his training cycle consists of pretty much just three things, running, eating, and sleeping. It sounds somewhat boring to be honest, but to the best in the world, this is what you have to do. Invest full time in recovery, invest full time in running, and have a proper diet to help balance everything out. Even with a wife and two kids, Kiptum was gone for six days out of the week, and even on Sundays when he did visit his family, he only saw them for a few hours. This is really what Kelvin Kiptum was all about, complete dedication to his craft and a non-stop belief in himself. Watching Kelvin Kiptum continue to break records was already wild, and it certainly set a standard that nobody else in history has ever been able to match. But seeing how exactly he did this was even more of a shock.
In every marathon that Kelvin Kiptum ever ran, he negative split every race, meaning that he ran the second half of his marathons even faster than his first halves. To this day, Kiptum is still the only person to ever split a second half marathon in a marathon under one hour, a pace that nobody, not even Elliot Kipchoge, has been able to attain. Now, the most memorable part of Kiptum's running is certainly his new world record, because this is the only time that someone has been able to take down the record of the great Kipchoge. This has placed him in a very, very rare position to be considered as the favorite against Kipchoge, moving into the Olympic Games. And by all accounts, he certainly was set to do this. Runners that have been running over the past decade have all looked up to Elliot Kipchoge. He has certainly done some amazing things for the sport. But runners that will be running 5 to 10 years from now very well could have looked up to Kelvin Kiptum. He just was that guy, setting impossible times and inspiring a new generation. In a sport that demands your efforts and full-time commitment to yourself, Kiptum might have been the unbeatable superstar that everyone dreams of becoming. He's already achieved three historic feats in his first three marathons. And now, we very well could be looking at the single biggest what-if in sporting history. There are so many things that I could say about Kelvin Kiptum, and I could sit here for many, many hours talking about his achievements. I do mean that quite literally. But for now, it's important to reflect upon the impact that he has had on the running community, because overwhelmingly, Kiptum's spirit brought a positive influence to the masses. He taught us that breaking two is undeniably possible. He taught us that focus can lead to greater things. He taught us that running the second half faster is the right way to go in a marathon. He taught us about breaking down possibilities. And he also taught us how at any point, anyone can achieve greatness. Thank you, Kelvin Kiptum, for inspiring a generation. Rest in peace, brother. We will never forget you.